Good evening, and welcome to Diablo 3. My name's Robert, and I'll be your host for part 17 of season 3 of my hardcore Monster Power 10 playthrough. Last time we struggled through the aqueducts, this time we travel the ancient path. Something just to let you know, I now have the arcane hydra, which I think is just awesome looking, like how cool is that? And we'll see how that works on the ancient path. Uh, desolate sands, okay. Oh, I was expecting at least some enemies around here, but there we go. Okay, let's see how that guy works. Fast enough. got some teleporters and lacunis, which, oh, I just hate those guys with a fiery passion. what we got here. Rare shoulders which vitality is down. Intelligence is up and protection is well somehow up. I don't know how that works. Oh strength is considered armor so well keep that on if I find something that gives me 17 more life somewhere else, I could use those. We got wallers, okay. scares the hell out of me. Wow. That went a lot fast. That uh, arcane took those guys down <laughs> like not expecting him. Okay, that sucks. There's no way I'm surviving. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, what I don't like is how fast these guys are.
Whoa! Big guy, lots of enemies. Wow, okay. Oh, God. What the? Holy crap, that thing was crazy. Well, at least it gave a lot of health globes. Whew. So, we just got our first amethyst, which is uh, useful. I'll be using. I think I'll be putting that on this one so that I can upgrade the uh, critical hit damage on my uh, weapon. And I can get some vitality, which would be very nice. So right here is an interesting little area. I haven't actually used it when I was playing uh, normal. I actually came back when I was already on uh, nightmare level because this place, it basically is just one ambush after another after another because you go in and you go along and you go along and you just keep on going and you think, oh, this is going to be really easy. And you come. Exactly. So we got a whole ton of stuff, and then the enemies start coming. See what I mean? There's just huge amount of enemies just come out of nowhere, and. They take up, like, it's just... Like, that was one ambush. Now, here, here we go, here's another one. Which, really... If you're overleveled, it's not so bad. But then, at the same time, you do find... Whoa, these guys are not... Whoa. They do some massive damage. There we go. Desolation is not something pretty. But I've got two amethyst, which is very nice. And another uh, chip topaz, so hey, good things. So I've totally cleared the map, which is always a nice thing to do, get some nice experience out of it. And I have three um, little sub-quests to do. Uh, two of them are the main quest, the um, 
uh, Cave of the Betrayer and the Vault of the Assassin. First, I'm going to the Vile Cavern. I believe most of this area is going to be uh, rock worm creatures and just a lot of poison, which is just great. wrong. I thought it was going to be rock worms. It's actually uh, arachnids, so eh, something different. But definitely it's quite a lot of space. Not many enemies running around so far. My first ruby. Very nice. Something that eh, teleporters. Well, that'd be a little different. Teleporting uh, these guys probably would be actually kind of dangerous because they're just so uh, unpredictable. set of teleporters. Uh, this time we got the unique with minions, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh well. I wonder where the second level is, because we're definitely going quite a distance here. Here we go. Now that, this should be something more interesting. Hopefully. Yep, we got knockback. Woo! And some kind of arachnid running around. The uh, Templar there just did the 10-yard uh, uh, dash in like split second. More 
Dark teleporters? Okay. Whoa, okay. We got rock worm running around as well, so just be careful of that. Hey, we got a dagger. Nice. Check out the dagger. And dexterity, if I was a dex character, that probably wouldn't be too bad. Nice chest. I can't pick up anything else. Lots of stuff. Very nice. Now, is there anything I don't yeah, there we go. Okay, off the town we go. Yeah, I think I'll keep the um, shoulders, so if I find something with, as I said, 17 more vitality, I can then switch this out, and it'll be basically a uh, straight switch. And it'll be the 28 intelligence, which is always nice. This one has, oh yeah, this had the better intelligence. 6% uh, magic find, wizard only magic arcane, plus nice, and experience. And it has the empty socket. Um, yeah, it has the intelligence increase as well, so I'll take that. And uh, now, I hear if I do this, I should get the, yeah, I get the chip tech baz back, so that's good. Okay, so. Let us do some uh, gem crafting and see how good we can upgrade our character. Uh, first things first, I'm going to get that out, that out. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, I have five spots. Let's see, uh, for weapons, uh, attacker takes 3 damage per hit, which I don't really want. Uh, critical hit damage increased by 10%. Um, each hit inc uh, adds 2 life, or I get the 2-4 damage. I'm going to do the 2-4 damage for now, which is just kind of an overall increase, which is nice. Um, also, I am going to get Come on, don't cancel on me. I'm gonna get one topaz, which increases 14 intelligence. Put that just right. Oh, actually, 9% better magic find. Um, I guess that's fine for now. Uh, 10 intelligence. There and then I can get. Let's see here, I can get. Now with the emerald, I actually don't want dexterity or magic uh, or gold for monster, so I'm actually going to put that in. Oh well, I guess I'll have to yank that for now 
and put the emerald in instead. That does uh, critical hit damage increase by 15%. That's nice. Then I can get vitality, and I can get, oh, six strength. I don't really want strength either. Oh well. It's one of those deals, you just kind of have to go with it. I only have the six strength, like if I were to put that, it'd be two to four, but then this is damage, uh, critical hit damage increased by 15%, which when you think about it, is a lot more than the two to four that that would give me, so. There you go. And I'll keep that for now. So that is the end of uh, this part. It, oh, actually, um, Hmm. I probably have enough time. Let's hit up one more. And... Yeah, let's take on the Cave of the Betrayer. We got nightmarish arachnids, okay. problem I'm noticing with the arcane uh, Hydra is just it's just slower than the fire one which I guess is normal it's not going to do anything different there nice whoa he just jackpotted me which was nice Okay then, so we just got a treasure goblin. First time in a while there. Level 2 of the Cave of the Betrayer. I'm guessing there's going to be a couple, uh, at least one champion or unique running around. I've only seen champion sets. I haven't seen any unique sets so far. At least I don't think I remember seeing one, so I'm thinking there's going to be one around here. Okay, kill that one. What? Oh, teleporters, okay. That's fine. You know you're doing good when you can take down a thousand hit points in only a couple seconds. I got vortex bugs, okay. Oh, 
we got our unique. Knockback, okay. Yeah, he just is stuck, which is cool. Socketed Ring of Slaughter. What does that do? Nah, not worth it. Okay, so we have taken the blood from uh, the Cave of the Betrayer, and next time we will hit up the Vault of the Assassin. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the LP so far. Please comment below, tell me what you think, and uh, I'll see you soon. Have a great day.